Hi, this is Mike, and I'm wearing an instant smile. And I'm going to give you a little more detail on fitting than which comes on the package, beginning with um, just getting the device to fit around your gums. Uh, heat it in hot water just before you even use the fitting beads. And like they say on the package and put it in your mouth and get a nice fit make sure the center of it kind of lines up with the, your lip and your nose so you, you can get it off center so be careful about that and after you do that what you want to do is take I use these little medicine cups with boiling water put just the end in it one end you know, pull it out. It's going to be nice and soft. Shove it back in your mouth. And push that against your gum. Push on the teeth to kind of push them underneath of your gum to give it a more natural look. Constantly applying pressure and let it cool. And do that to the other side. Heat it. Put it in there. And I promise you, you'll get a much better fit that way if you work work the ends a little after you've done the initial fit. All right, after you do that, take a few of the beads. Don't use all of them like they say on the package. Take about four or five of them. Put them in the hot water, roll them up into a nice long bead, shove them into the bottom of the denture, all along the bottom edge of it, and shove you it in there and let them cool off in your mouth they won't be that hot if it doesn't seem right you can put the whole device in hot water it'll soften the beads back up oh by the way the beads are ready to use when they've gone from from the uh, white to clear and you can reheat them if you need to in, in boil I use boiling water and uh, just a regular kitchen spoon Again, I only work with about four or five at a time in the beginning. And what I do is slowly but surely add a little bit on there. You know, get a nice little gob on there. Flatten them out on your finger. Put them on the partial. Stick them in your mouth. Use your gum line and your existing teeth as a mold. And build the device around it. If you do it patiently, using four or five at a time, sometimes two or three, depending on holes you might be trying to fill in or whatever. And they're very, and, and, and apply them to a dry denture, not one that's been in your mouth wet. They'll bond and they'll build up and eventually you'll get a nice fit. Make sure you apply some to the back end too, to fit your gum. I don't have teeth back there, so it, it on one side of my mouth so I made a little cup gives it a little extra holding power and I promise you if you'll spend a couple hours and just use a few beads at a time and not use them all at one time um, you'll get a nice fit and I use this with denture adhesive uh, very lightly and it stays in there pretty well and I bet I can even eat like you know light sandwiches and you know, you're not going to eat a steak. And I don't recommend it for eating, but occasionally you can get away with it. But the nice thing is, even if I don't have denture adhesive, it fits in there and it'll stay in there. And it looks pretty good. And for $15, I mean, honestly, you can't beat it. You really can't. I mean, I've spent thousands of dollars on dental work. And look what I got to show for it. This is actual expensive dental work that just broke and fell out of my mouth after a time. I, I was so disgusted. So you got nothing to lose and if you're just patient. And good luck.